Hey, hey, welcome back to Bozzy Callahan's Word of Advice. And for today's video, I wanted to talk about the importance of practicing. And if you're thinking the same way I am when you hear the word practicing, I'm talking about the effort that we give to get better at something so we can improve at whatever we are doing. Like, say, for example, um, you're practicing at a sport or an instrument you play or a hobby that you like, such as writing. That's what I want to talk about for this video, and I just wanted to stress the importance of practice. And I very much believe that if we practice at something, no matter what it is, then we are helping ourselves out to get better at whatever we want to practice. You know, I just shared a few examples of what a lot of people have practiced over time. Uh, say, for example, a sport. Let's say that you want to play baseball. You think baseball is very exciting and intriguing to you. So you want to go out and become really good at baseball. Great. But the reality is you're not just going to pick up on baseball right off the bat. It's going to take some time for anybody to develop and get better at playing a new sport such as baseball or getting better at a different hobby, you name it, whatever it is. We all start from somewhere and if we put in the practice and the effort to get better at something, then we are giving ourselves a really, really good chance at getting better at whatever we want to do. Now, does this mean that if we practice everything and we try to challenge ourselves to do everything, are we going to become a master at whatever we try to do? Most likely, there will be something which we try and we're not going to be able to master it, while other people will be able to. I can't help but think of an example, um, a contrast between my father and I. I know when I was young, I wanted to try out skiing because I thought skiing was cool and I was probably eight or nine or ten and I decided to go out and, you know, I started the basics. I went on Bunny Hill at a ski place that I used to go to a while back and not too long after I practiced more and more and more I could ski on more challenging hills and it was due to that practice of skiing that I got better at skiing. Now on the other hand for my father he wanted to start skiing. I don't know if he skied in the past or not, but it was probably a while for my father. Um, he probably hadn't skied for a long time if he ever did. So I remember about 10 years ago or so when he noticed that I was skiing and my mom was skiing. He wanted to try out skiing and he started on the bunny hill, but my father was not exactly great at it, and my father apparently messed up his knee a little bit when he fell, and, you know, since my father was a little bigger of a guy, it would not have been good for him to mess up his knee anymore. Um, I remember the story he told me was that the instructor he was working with told him, it might be good for you to try something else. And my father agreed. So my father did not continue trying to ski and I don't blame him. And I understand it. In this life, some people are going to be talented in one thing and other people are going to be talented in another thing. I know 
it would probably be cool for all of us to master everything, but, you know, we all have our certain gifts, and we should take advantage of those gifts, and, well, if we have a certain gift in something, then we need to continue practicing at it so we can get better at it. One thing which I have done over the last 10 to 12 years now is that I have played the violin, and I like the violin. And today, I can really pick up on a melody right off the bat, and it doesn't take me too long to get out my violin and figure out which notes I need to play. But that is because I have practiced and practiced and practiced over the years at playing the violin. I remember when I was in elementary school, I couldn't just play a melody I heard right off the bat because I wasn't as great at the violin yet. But thanks to years of practice, and today I still practice the violin a little bit, that has helped me develop in playing the violin. And I'm very happy that the years of practice I have, I have had at the violin have paid off. This reminds me of one more thing I'd like to add before I wrap up this video. When it comes to practicing some things, find some things that you like. You know, for me, I like music and I like the violin, and I'm very happy whenever I play the violin and practice it. And right now, maybe you are thinking of something that intrigues you and you want to try it, but you just never have gotten around to trying it. Think of some things which you like and you want to practice at. And give it time, give it practice, and remember, it may be hard at times whenever you are practicing of something new, but just give it your best effort and give it time and in the end, practice will pay off. It did for me, and it has for many other people in this world. And it's always worth giving something new a chance. So with that, that's all I really have to say for this video and for this topic. And I certainly hope what I've had to talk about on the topic of practice will come in handy. And be sure to come back for another word of advice video.